Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, viewers. You are welcome to today's devotion of the Anglican Communion Daily Fountain. Today, Monday, March 21st, 2022. The topic before us says, The finger of God, the second and third plagues in Egypt. The finger of God. We are looking at the text, Exodus chapter 8, verses 1 to 19. Exodus 8, 1 to 19. Shall we pray? Glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, we bow before your throne. Glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, we bow before your throne, bow before your throne. Worship at your feet, bow before your throne. You are the glorious God, bow before your throne. Worship at your feet, bow before your throne. You are the glorious God, your name is Alpha, Omega, Ageless. You are changeless, almighty Jehovah. Glorious God, we bow before your throne. Anytime we see and of the breaking of the day, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Anytime we see and of the breaking of the day, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Our precious Father, we want to say thank you for another day, another Monday, another beautiful day that you have made. And we all shall rejoice and be glad in it. We are glad for counting us worthy to be among the living. We want to thank you for sound sleep, for good dreams that you granted unto us. And you wake us up, you woke us up this morning, ill and healthy. We are strong, we are healthy, we return praise to you. Be lifted forever, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, we hand over ourselves to your heaven as this day. As we come in with you, even in this, this morning devotion, may your presence abide with us. We pray you will speak to us and give us words that we need for today. The words that we carry us through today, that he deposited even in our hearts today, that at the end of it all, we will have the full cause to glorify your holy name. Holy Spirit, please take control. Take charge, take preeminence, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Our topic says, the finger of God. And the text is Exodus chapter 8, verses 1 to 19. I read, And the Lord spoke to Moses, Go to Pharaoh and said to him, Thus says the Lord, Let my people go, that they may serve me. But if you refuse to let them go, Behold, I will smite all the territory with frogs. So the river shall bring forth frogs abundantly, which shall go up and come into your house, into your bedroom, on your bed, into your houses, into the houses of your servants, on your people, 
into your ovens and into your kneading bowls. And the frogs shall come up on you, on your people, and on all your servants. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, said to Aaron, Stretch out your hand with your rod over the streams, over the rivers, and over the ponds, and cause frogs to come up on the land of Egypt. So Aaron stretched out his hand over the waters of Egypt, and the frogs came up and covered the land of Egypt. And the magicians did so with their enchantment and brought up frogs on the land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron and said, Entreat the Lord that he may take away the frogs from me and from my people, and I will let the people go that they may sacrifice to the Lord. And Moses said to Pharaoh, Accept the honor of saying, When I shall intercede for you, for your servants and for your people, to destroy the frogs from you and your houses, that they may remain in the river only. So he said, Tomorrow. And he said, Let it be according to your word, that you may know that there is no one like the Lord our God. And the frogs shall depart from you, from your houses, from your servants, and from your people. They shall remain in the river alone. Then Moses and Aaron went out from Pharaoh. And Moses cried out to the Lord concerning the frogs, which he had brought against Pharaoh. So the Lord did according to the words of Moses, and the frogs died out of the houses out of the courtyards and out of the fields. They gathered them together in heaps, and the land stank. But when Pharaoh saw that there was relief, he hardened his heart and did not eat them as the Lord had said. So the Lord said to Moses, Say to Aaron, Stretch out your rod and strike the dust of the land so that it may become lies throughout all the land of Egypt. And they did so, for Aaron stretched out his hand with his rod and struck the dust of the earth, and it became lies on man and beast. All the dust of the land became lies throughout all the land of Egypt. Now the magicians so worked with their enchantment to bring forth lies, but they could not. So there were lies of man and beast. Then the magician said to Pharaoh, This is the finger of God. But Pharaoh's heart grew hard, and he did not eat them, just as the Lord had said. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We are considering the finger of the Lord. Our study today centers on the display of God's sovereignty, God's mighty power in the land of Egypt. It was a show of power between the almighty God and the gods of the Egyptians and Pharaoh. Pharaoh had claimed that he did not know the Lord. Let's see in Exodus chapter 5, verses 1 to 2. Exodus 5, 1 and 2. It says, afterward, Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Let my people go, that they may hold a feast for me in the wilderness. Listen to what Moses, Pharaoh said in verse 2. And Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord that I should obey his voice to let Israel go? I do not know the Lord, nor will I let Israel go. Pharaoh, this was the claim of Pharaoh that he did not know the Lord. Who is that Lord that will come and command me, Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, to let Israel go? No, I don't know that Lord, and they will not go. Also, God, on the other hand, declared to show his power in Egypt, to show his mightiness in Egypt, to show that he is the God of heaven and earth, to show that he is the Almighty, so, so that they will know, the Egypt, the Egyptians will know that God is the only one is the Lord, is the Almighty. Let's see in Exodus chapter 7, verses 1 and 1 to 5. Exodus 7, 
1 to 5. So the Lord said to Moses, See, I have made you as God to Pharaoh, and Aaron your brother shall be your prophet. You shall speak all that I command you, and Aaron your brother shall tell Pharaoh to send the children of Israel out of his land. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart and multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. But Pharaoh will not heed you so that I may lay my hand on Egypt and bring my armies and my people, the children of Israel, out of the land of Egypt by great judgment. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I stretch out my hand on Egypt and bring out the children of Israel from among them. We can see this. God wants to show to Pharaoh and his people that he is God, the Almighty. is the most high God, the unquestionable God, the mighty man in battle. God called Moses to be the deliverer of Israelites from the captivity in Egypt and performed his mighty heart through him in line with his promise in Exodus chapter 4 verse 17. Starting from chapter 7 of Exodus, we see God inflicting Pharaoh and the Egyptians with a series of plagues, 10 in all. Our concern today is the second and third plague. We can see in chapter 8 that God sent Moses to Pharaoh to let his people go and serve him with a warning of a second plague of frog. Ordinarily, the symbol of frog refers to life, it refers to renewal, it refers to happiness. But this was turned around because, and became a pet to Egypt, and became a pet in Egypt, making life unbearable for them, making life unbearable for the Egyptians. And that is what happened when people refused to obey God. What's supposed to bring joy to them will turn to sorrow. So we encourage today, we are being one today that obedience, the Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice. God wants us to obey him so that everything that he has commanded and every promise he has for us will come to us. So when people disobey God, what makes them happy ordinary often turn to sorrow. This is what the Egyptians experienced even in the second plague. Although the Egyptians magician used magical power to bring frogs, but they could not, they could only bring frog, but could not remove the frog. So Pharaoh had to still come back to Moses and Aaron to plead, please beg your God for us to remove this plague. But he promised that when, he's, when the frog is removed, he will let the people go. And Moses answered that he would pray. He decided to pray and he told God to remove it. And God did remove it. But Pharaoh did not keep to his word. Pharaoh did not, you know, keep to his promise. Instead, he hardened his heart the more. As soon as the plague, the frog was over, as soon as there was relieved, Pharaoh did not keep to his word, but refused to let the people go. Pharaoh's magicians were able to copy the plague of frogs, which made him disbelieve, disbelieve Moses, and as a result, became hardened. If you, eh, you were able to provide frog, my magicians were able to do it. So it's normal. It's not a strange thing. It's not unusual. So he, and that added his heart the more. He disbelieved Moses that he, you, you, God has sent him. However, when the plague of lies was sent from the dust of the earth, the magicians were handicapped and then exclaimed, this is the finger of God. The finger of God shows God's involvement in a matter. And when God is involved in your matter, the devil can do nothing. The magician shouted, this is the finger of God. When they could not make lies, ordinary lies, ordinary lies. Lies are tiny parasitic insects that feeds on blood. They are hard to find, especially when they are in human air. They cause discomfort in the hair and the body generally. So we can see that it's a very tiny thing, but very difficult for the magicians, the Egyptian magicians to create. And 
they could not but exclaim that this is the finger of God. This is the finger of God. Some people in power equate themselves with God as Pharaoh did. However, they are finite and limited. We need to humble ourselves under God's mighty hand and acknowledge that God is supreme over all the affairs of men. The exclamation of the magician shows the limitation of human power compared to the power of God. It is only God that is unlimited. He is the most powerful. The one that can do and undo. He is the mighty God. Until we acknowledge him as this. Until we acknowledge him as the most high God. Until we acknowledge him as the lion of the tribe of Judah. He is the mighty God. He is the king of glory. He is the king of kings. The lord of lords. The rock of ages. He is the lily of the valley. He is our creator. He is our savior. He is the lion of the tribe of Judah. This God is the champion of the champions. He is the winner of the winners. He is, he is glorious in holiness. He is fearful in praises. He is the commander-in-chief of the heavenly host. Father, we worship you. We confess to you and confess, we confess that there is none like you. And you will never share your glory with any man. That is one thing we need to know about God. He will never, God will never share his glory with any man. And so the finger of God makes the difference in the lives of those who believe in him. We must desire the finger of the Lord to touch our lives. We must desire that finger of the Lord to work wonders. Because the, the finger of the Lord work wonders. The finger of the Lord is mighty. The finger of the Lord is great. The finger of the Lord can turn things around. The finger of the Lord can make the impossible possible. The finger of the Lord can make the, what the enemy think is over, can make it, can, God can bring it and say, I have just started. The finger of the Lord can transform lives. The finger of the Lord can change lives. And so I want you to join me as we take this song. Hakakaya. Hakachi over Nemema. Hole Bubea. Kenerura in Ebeno. Yes, he can do. Can I dig it at a Akakaya? Akachi over name my Akakaya. Akachi over name my Olebupea. That is the God we have we serve. He's a mighty God. Until we acknowledge him as God, until we acknowledge him as the most high God, nothing can change him. Nothing, nothing can change him. We need to know that the Lord is the Almighty. And we need to humble ourselves before him. No matter the position you find yourself in the society. No matter the position you find yourself in the world. No matter you, the position you find yourself in Nigeria. God is overall. People might be trying and say we can create this. We can create that. We can, but God will still be God. Because God is overall. He is the wholesome God. He is the mighty God. We need to acknowledge him as that. There is no like him. And he will never share his glory with any man because he is a jealous God. The prayer says, Oh Lord, may your finger rest upon me today and make a difference in my life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Shall we pray? Father, we want to thank you 
Because there is none like you, Lord. You are the Almighty. You are the unchangeable changer. You are the great, you are the one that is greater than the greatest. You are mightier than the mightiest. Father, not to be compared with you, we adore you this morning. We humble ourselves before you. We say, may your name alone be glorified. May your name alone be exalted, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, as we go about our activities today, may your finger work wonders in our lives. That those things that are proving difficult in our lives, oh God, your fingers will begin to make them possible. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every situation that is proving difficult, the Lord will make it easy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, go with us as we go today. Let your presence abide with us. Guide and direct us, O oh God. That at the end of today, we will come back rejoicing, celebrating your kinship in our life. Thank you, precious Father, because every Pharaoh in our lives are gone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. I want to thank you for listening. And we pray that the finger of God will do great and mighty things in our lives, even as we go about our activities today in Jesus' name. Do have a blessed day. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen.